You can't be that lucky, right? So, no. uh, but anyways, it is time for the big question, and I kind of have expressed how uh, not crazy I am about the recent uh, retribution situation. So, I'm Riz. I'm going to try to be positive as uh, you be have positive, Mamba, sort. yeah, as you have Mambo Italiano hanging out on the screen behind you. Uh, Mambo. But uh, Mambo. Uh, but anyways, uh, so let's see if I can rephrase this right. What is um, a debut, a gimmick that you maybe have had a little bit of like, this is going to be fucking stupid. This is going to, like, no way this is going to work. But they have changed your mind over the course of weeks, months, whatever it is. And that that becomes something um, a little more worthwhile as you go. Is, is there something that you thought was just going to be a gobbledygooker and turned into... The shield, for instance. Anything that comes to mind? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The first thing that pops into my mind is uh our good friend Elias. Oh oh, you were not sold on the early Elias. I was not. Okay. I think it was, I thought it was a weird uh gimmick to have on somebody. Mm. To have him be like, oh, we just come out with a guitar player and, and you had, just get beat up. And he's a guy that you saw develop into heavy metal Jesus and everything like, I over did. the years. So the, 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 you're probably colored a little bit with that, right? Yeah, and I'm, I'm coming in with that. But the the folksy, like, soloist gimmick of heel guitarist was one of the weirder gimmicks I didn't think was going to succeed. Grumpy lead but, singer. Yes, the grumpy lead singer. Thank you, bro. Okay. But it's kind of relatable though. A lot of bands have that problem. Mm-hmm. Like Paramore. <laughs> oh yeah, that one. <laughs> I, I'm not familiar with.